Hey, what's up? I'm Justin. Welcome to 65 Drums. If you want to keep on top of all things electronic drum related, remember to press that bell and subscribe icon so you don't miss any of the new videos. So this wasn't really in the plans to do a video on this today, but Elisa's just dropped two brand new drum sets. Brand new drum sets. The reason why I'm using air quotes is because it's not really, nothing here is actually new. It's just them combining different pads and modules that they already had and new combinations at a lower price. So it's actually kind of cool what they've done here and let's talk about it. Let's talk about the specs, what's all included and the pricing. So the two new drum sets are the Elisa Surge drum set and the Elisa's Command Mesh. Now, if the words Elisis and Surge are ringing a bell in your brain, but you can't quite remember where you heard it before, it was because back when the Elisis was doing the DM10 Pro kit with the metal symbols, those were the Surge metal symbols. Uh, they eventually dropped that, but they kept the brand name, so now we have the Surge mesh drum set. This one's $500, the other one is $700. Now, if this kit kind of looks familiar to you, but you're not sure why, it's because it's a combination of three different Elisis drum sets. The symbols that you see right there are from the Elisis Nitro, from the Elisis Forge, and the Elisis Command. So they're the lowest level, cheapest electronic symbols you can buy from Elisis. On the other hand, you have a module from the Elisis Nitro, and the Elisis Nitro is pretty much a module from the DM7. You got a drum rack from the Elisis Forge, you got drum pads from an Elisis Crimson drum set, but they're a little bit smaller. So you got a 10 inch snare drum, you got eight inch toms, and you got an eight inch kick drum. And of course this entire package is wrapped up in a $500 price tag. And your main options are buying an Elisis Forge, buying a Yamaha DTX 550K, um, buying a Roland TD-1, those are your main options for $500. So this is now a legit contender against those drum sets. If you really think about it, you could see this drum set as a response to the Simmons SD550. You gotta understand something about Alesis. They have a marketing position. They position themselves as the value brand. We always give you the largest electronic drum set possible at the lowest possible price. That is their spiel. That is their goal in life, okay? Other companies such as Yamaha and Roland, they more bank on durability and sound quality and stuff. Elisis always banks on having the largest electronic drum set at the smallest price. That is their goal. And somehow, some way, Simmons beat them to the punch. They made a $500 electronic drum set with all mesh pads. So Elisis has to come back and make a $500 electronic drum set. And thankfully, they include a mesh kick drum, which makes it miles better than this Simmons drum set because it has that little hockey puck thing on the ground and I really do not like those at all. I like having a dedicated electronic kick drum tower. But anyway, going back to the Surge drum set, you'll notice that it's selling for 500 bucks. That means it's kicking out another Elisis drum set that used to cost $500. And that of course was the Elisis Forge. Now, whenever you go on to music websites, you can search electronic drum sets from most popular to least popular. And the Elisis Forge is always right up there at the top. Like there's a Nitro, the Elisis Forge, the TD-11, the TD-25. Those are some of the most popular electronic drum sets out there in the world today. And the Elisis Forge sold really, really well. But now they've actually lowered the price. You can buy an Elisis Forge right now from guitarcenter.com for $440. So it's very obvious that Elisis wants you to buy their brand new drum set. But you'll notice something. Both of these drum sets are not equal because on the one hand, the Elisis Forge has a larger snare, even though it's rubber, it's 11 inches, versus the brand new drum set, which has a 10 inch snare. This one has the Elisis Forge drum module, which can let you import samples and it has more kits inside of it. If you look at the Elisis Surge drum set, you're getting the Nitro drum module. So you can't import samples into it. You'll have less sounds inside of it. So you're sacrificing the drum module. You're getting a lesser drum module, but you're getting all mesh pads. So that's like a sacrifice you'll have to be willing to take if you buy the Surge drum set. If you compare the two, I would spend the extra 60 bucks and buy the new Surge drum set just because the value proposition that's here, it's worth the 500 bucks. So on the whole, I do like this drum set a lot. Even though I haven't sat down and played this particular kit, I've played all these different elements individually. I've used that drum module, I've used those cymbals, I've used those tom pads and snare pad and that kick drum tower. So as far as $500 electronic drum sets go, you have two big options now. You have the Elisa Surge, mesh drum set, and you have the Yamaha DTX 450K drum set. I don't really wanna include the Roland TD-1K because not having a kick drum tower is a deal breaker for me, and I'm not a big fan of that drum set, even though it sounds better than both of these drum sets over here combined. It sounds nicer, but I'm just not a fan of the non-kick drum tower and the whole rack design of that thing. So two big options, this drum set and the Yamaha drum set. You're gonna to have to choose between those two. So that was kit number one. Let's talk about kit number two now, the all new Elisa's Command Mesh. Now, before we talk about this brand new version, let's go back and talk about the original one that it's replacing. 
the Ulysses Command. I got to play that. I made a first impressions video about it. I'm not a big fan of that original kit because even though it gave you a mesh kick drum and a mesh snare, the Tom pads are rubber. That's okay. You, you kind of expect that at $700. Everyone has rubber pads at $700. So the main reason I wasn't a fan of that drum set was the cymbals. They gave you the same cymbals that were on the Elisis Nitro. And so you're getting the lowest end cymbals there are out there on the market on something that costs you $700. And when you spend $700, you're so close in price to a Yamaha 522, which I really recommend for $800. You're close in price to a Roland TD-11K. You're, you're close in price to an Alesis Crimson II. So that kind of made a choice of buying an Alesis Command just a, a, not a very good choice at all. Okay, so that was the previous version. What about the new version, the Alesis Command Mesh Kit? Well, as you can tell from the name, they got all mesh pads now. So you got 8-inch Tom pads, 8-inch kick drum, 10-inch snare. If this sounds familiar, it's because those are the exact same pads on the other one, the Ulysses Burst Kit. Basically, the only difference between this kit and the Ulysses Burst Kit, other than that price tag difference, the only real difference is that you're getting the Forge Drum Module or the Command Drum Module, basically a rebranded Forge Drum Module. And uh, you're getting that module, so more sounds, you can import samples. And then the other change is the drum rack is slightly different. If you look close at the cymbals, you'll notice that you got boom arms for those now. I don't really think the nicer drum module and boom arms for the cymbals, I don't think that justifies 200 extra dollars. So if I had to choose between both these drum sets, I would spend $500 and get the Surge drum set. Now I do realize this new Elisa's Command drum set is a nice upgrade over the previous version because you're getting all mesh toms instead of all rubber toms. That's nice. But at the same time, you're only $100 away from buying a Yamaha DTX 522K, which is much better built. It's just a nicer drum set. So I would save $100 extra and buy that drum set if you're in this price category. So when I take a look at both of these new drum sets from Alesis, I'm really glad that they came out with them. I feel like the Alesis Command Mesh still isn't really a good value for the money. And I feel like the Elisa's Surge drum set is a good value for the money, and that one is still worth buying. Now, there are two more things I want to mention before I end the video. Number one, neither of these drum sets are actually shipping until March, so this is all pre-order stuff. You can't actually get these yet. And the second thing you need to know is that you can't just buy the Elisa's Command drum set and then hook up a three-zone Elisa's Ride to it. Even though the Elisa's Command, the Elisa's Forge, and the Elisa's Crimson 1 and 2 modules have identical bodies on them, like the plastic shell is the same, what kind of symbols you can plug into them are not the same. So as far as the research I've done, I found that you can't plug in a three-zone ride symbol to the Elisa's Command drum module. They knew you were gonna to try to do that and they took away the capability so you'd have to spend more money and buy the Elisa's Crimson line. Okay, so that's your electronic drum news for the day. As you know, Winter Nam is gonna happen on January 25th. So just in a couple of days, I'm sure we'll be hearing more and more product releases from different electronic drum companies. I don't expect anything you know, earth shattering to happen this winter, but I hope something does. I hope Roland comes out with a new version of the TD-11. I hope Yamaha starts releasing new electronic drums. I kind of doubt any giant events will happen, but we'll have to see what happens. I'll probably make more news videos as the days go on. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you all have an amazing day. And let me know, what do you guys think of these two new Elisis drum sets? Let me know down in the comments below. See you guys in a few.